So now in this video, we're going to look at current and voltages when it comes to resistive components. So we're just going to focus on the resistor, the main resistive component in electronic circuits. This is a 220 ohm resistor. The color stripes are red, red, brown. So red for two, red for two, and then brown for one. That means one zero. So two, two, zero, 220. And then it has a gold stripe. We can expect that with this resistor, it may be 5% higher or lower. That's what that gold stripe means. So I already did the math. In this case, we're gonna apply five volts across this. And actually I stuck that in the wrong rail. There we go, now it's on negative. So we're gonna apply five volts across it. It's open right now, there's no current flowing through it. We're gonna do that with the meter. We're gonna need to complete the circuit through the meter. That's what this indicates. We're completing a circuit through the meter or this may just be added to a schematic to show you the current that will be flowing through a particular area. But in any case, we're gonna put five volts across this resistor so at 5 volts divided by 220 ohms, this is just basic ohms law. I put the formulas there, the most common formulas. We're looking for current, so we need voltage divided by resistance. And we get 0 0.0227 amps. Now this 27 keeps going on. It's 27, 27, 27 forever. So I just put a dash there. Now we convert the current to milliamps and we'll get about 22.72 milliamps. Again, the seven and the two continue forever, so I just approximated it 22.72 milliamps. So now, of course, you wanna take measurements with the multimeter. We're gonna set this to voltage. First, we're gonna get the voltage of the rail. The uh, meter is great for verifying you did your calculations right and stuff, and uh, making sure let's take a look at the voltage of the power source so we are indeed getting five volts at the rail there and now we're going to measure resistance make sure the resistor is 220 ohms and it doesn't matter which uh, probe you put to which side of the resistor the resistor is not polarized and uh, there we go you can see it's pretty much exactly 220 ohms and now so resistance is also auto-ranging. Current is not as auto-ranging. We have amps, milliamps, and microamps. So we're really sure that we're in the milliamp range, so we'll set it there. Remember, milliamps goes up to 999 milliamps. We're expecting about 20.72 milliamps. And so, to uh, take the current measurement, the circuit's open. That's why we could take the resistance so there's no current going through it. We have to complete the circuit through the meter. And there you can see we have above uh, 21 milliamps, depending on how well I get a connection. There we go, practically 22 milliamps. That's about as good a connection as I'll make. So we calculated 22.72, almost 23, and we got 22. So that was real close, that's fine. A couple things to be aware of there's resistance wherever we make these connections and the resistance uh, through the meter and stuff the probes and how I made the connections so we would expect the uh, value to be the current to be a little bit lower because we had slightly more just barely slightly though slightly more resistance than just the resistor and down here I have a uh, little diagram here to kind of show where you commonly take reading so if you remember even though we had the resistor on the breadboard here's an open circuit so there's no way for current to flow through the resistor that's really important and you just measure both ends of the resistor the meter sends a voltage to the resistor and it measures how much current came back to it so that's how it knows how much resistance there is by how much current passes because it knows what voltage it's giving it so it's basically doing ohms law on its own and uh, so you just measure that across the component that you want to measure now uh, we'll go into LEDs later but uh, this is just for resistive components now the uh, current measurements an ammeter as I said 
you have to insert that into the circuit so you see that there we stuck it there that wire comes there and then this one picks up on the other end so whatever current is going through the wires also has to go through the meter and uh, so you need to complete the circuit with the meter with voltage you just take the measurement across the two points in the case of this video we were taking the power source voltage so we just stuck the probe on both sides of the power source this was on the positive rail the red rail this was on the blue rail the negative rail or ground if you want to call it that and so I put this little diagram to hopefully make it a little more clear how we took those measurements now in my next video I'm going to be talking about uh, switches and resistors how that affects the voltages in the circuit whether the switch is open or closed and uh, of course the current that flows through when we have an open switch and a closed switch so hope to see you in that video too